Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew here. Today we're taking a look at the brand new Alienware 13. This year you finally get some quad-core H processors, a thinner design, and a killer GTX 1060. Let's see if this laptop is worth picking up. Let's go and break down the specs. For the biggest change this year is you're getting a quad-core chip. This one features the i7-6700HQ, 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 13.3 inch Quad HD OLED panel, NVIDIA GTX 1060, 256 gigabyte SSD, and the retail price is $1649. The new Alienware 13 looks awesome. On the top and bottom you got this aluminum plate which looks pretty slick. The interior also has a clean look. You also get this rubberized finish towards the palm rest, kind of like the XPS 13 and 15. And it overall it gives you a nice touch. This laptop is pretty hefty for a 13 inch model. You're getting an average weight of around 5 pounds. And its thickest point is 0.92 inches. Most of your ports are going to be towards the back. You got your RJ45 Ethernet, mini display port, full size HDMI. Thunderbolt 3, external GPU port, and your charging port. On the right side, you got your USB Type-C, USB 3, and your exhaust vent. On the left side, you got your security lock slot, exhaust vent, USB 3, microphone input, and your headset jack. This laptop features a forged hinge design that works seamlessly. It feels rigid, and it feels very well built. The bottom panel is made out of aluminum and can be easily removed for future upgrades. Let's take a look at what's inside. Here you got 8 gigabytes of DDR4, you can expand it to 32 gigs and two M.2 SSD slots. The read speeds on the 256 gigabyte model was pretty fast, however the write speeds were kind of slow coming in at around 400 megabytes a second. The panel on here is just drop dead gorgeous. It's a 13.3 inch Quad HD OLED panel that just looks stunning. Man this is one of the best displays I've ever seen. You're also getting some pretty high color accuracy, the Adobe RGB came in at 99% and the sRGB coverage came in at 100%. It's also pretty bright, coming in at 334 nits. The viewing angles are actually pretty good. There's only one minor con here is the glossy panel. If you work in bright lighting environments, it can be an issue. The trackpad Adele put on here has been superb. Two finger scrolling, multi-touch gestures, and tracking has been right on target. This is definitely a gamer's keyboard. The key travel on here is excellent, coming in at 2.2 millimeters, and the typing experience just feels very good. Overall, these keys offer a great experience. Using the Alienware FX control panel, you can customize the control zones here on the keyboard to different color options, as well as your trackpad and the Alienware logo on the front. This year's performance has skyrocketed thanks to the quad-core H chips from Intel. Last year's model featured dual-core chips, and that was a big letdown. Now, even with a 13-inch form factor, you can expect to hang with the big boys like the Alienware 15 and 17. The new Alienware 13 also features the latest 10-series Pascal chips from NVIDIA, and this model features the GTX 1060, with 6GB of GDDR5. And for the best experience, make sure your NVIDIA drivers are updated using the GeForce Experience application. Here's a quick test of Overwatch running on Epic settings at 2560 by 1440 So far I'm getting an average around 40 to 45 frames per second, and you can get up to 50 frames per second on certain scenes. The GTX 1060 is a very capable card that can play many of today's high-end games at 1920 by 1080p on high and ultra settings. After about an hour and 30 minutes of gameplay, you can expect the fans to ramp up to around 50 to 52 decibels. Listen here. Next game I tested was Battlefield 1, which is an awesome game by the way. I have it running at 2560 by 1440 on high settings. And you can expect around 40 to 50 frames per second. The external temperatures were very good, especially for a small laptop with this kind of horsepower. The top section was the hottest at around 47 degrees Celsius and the WASD keys remain pretty cool at around 39 to 41 degrees Celsius. During my gaming test, the hottest GPU temperature I got was around 77 degrees Celsius, and the average came in at around 73.9 degrees Celsius. Overall, the thermal management on this system is freaking awesome. The front-facing webcam is also capable of unlocking your laptop via Windows Hello, and it does it very well. This laptop features an HD webcam, and this is how it looks. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. The battery comes in at 76 watt hours and you can expect around 3 to 4 hours of light duty casual usage and about an hour and 30 minutes of gameplay. The speakers are on the side and actually sound really good. They can get pretty loud as well coming in around 75 to 80 decibels. The only con here is the lack of a subwoofer therefore the bass is really low. Let's get to the conclusion of the new Alienware 13 late 2016 edition. This year's biggest change is obviously the quad core H chips which brings big performance gains. Combine that with a thinner design as well as a GTX 1060 and you get the beautiful 13.3 inch OLED panel that just looks stunning. When you factor in all those options, you basically got yourself the best 13 inch gaming laptop on the planet. Yes, it is pricey, however the base model starts at $12.99 and it can go all the way up to $34.99. 
Alright guys, this completes my full review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to smack on that like button and don't forget to sub. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.